What's going on guys? Torn back with another video. I know it's been a little while, but we're back with another install video. Uh, Charger's getting a throttle body spacer, cold air intake, enclosed cold air intake, and a 180 degrees thermostat. Keep it cool. Uh, we got the parts and stuff laying over there. We had our boys Manny House have a nice garage day. We're gonna install these parts, show y'all kind of how to do it, and give the opinions for it. And then, you know, just share the content with y'all. Catch y'all later in the video. Peace out. All right, guys. So, like I was saying, finished all the auto body spacer. Went with the AFE. They say it don't really work, but I'm going to be the test dummy for y'all and see if it does. Uh, coder intake isn't in the mail yet. It's AFE enclosed. And 180 degrees thermostat, which we already got it installed. Which is just nothing, just three little bolts. Take the hose clamp off, put the new one in. Uh, but, and then of course, your throttle body, just take it off. Four screws, keep your O-ring in. Got the new gasket. And then put your throttle body spacer on. Put your intake manifold back together. That's pretty much it for the most part. Alright, so we got everything put back in. Got the thought about spaces there. Thermostat's all in. Intake will be here tomorrow, hopefully. We'll get back on that and put that on. Uh, this is how you bleed the system on a charger. You just fill your cooling back up that you let out when you replace the thermostat. Refill it up, let it run with the heat blasting. Get all the air out of the system. And you pretty much be done with the install. Uh, we'll pick up the video when the intake comes in and we'll share how to put that on. But other than that, 180 degree thermostat, easy install right there, three bolts, solid body spacer, four bolts, and then new hardware goes back in. Plug your uh, plug ins back in and you're all good. Picking up day two, uh, just got the cold air intake in the mail. Went with AFE, like I told y'all. AFE, closed box. Just like that. I don't know about y'all, but this is probably like the biggest air intake filter I've ever seen on a system, but. AFE, like I said, I'm already taking apart the factory cold air intake. Well, not a colder intake, but intake itself. Just a couple screws, flathead, and then an eight mil. We'll take that apart. And then for the most part, we'll start putting this together and I'll keep recording and show y'all the process of it for the most part. Catch you later in the video. All right guys, now that we got the intake out, factory intake, you want to pull your parts out of your new one, which you got your couplings and your grommets and everything right there. Your tube. And to say the first step, what you read reading instructions is put your little rubber outline and on, and then put your cone inside here until it locks in, which is in there. I haven't, I'm going to cut this tail off right here before we do it. Well, that's the first thing. Go ahead and get your enclosed box ready and then start putting your couplings on your uh, throttle body and then just kind of follow instructions. But I'm going to record and kind of show y'all. But I'll show you. All right, guys. So i got my filter installed, as you can see, inside my box. Make sure you follow instructions and you remove your factory grommet from your factory air box and put it right there so you can bounce it back to the uh, bumper of the car. And then from there, you just kind of set it in place and tighten your bolt back down for the most part. All 
right guys finished product everything's on plugged in grommet factory grommet crankcase one crucial information like i say be very careful taking your factory temperature sensor out i broke mine it's nine dollars from o'reilly if you do break it i'm gonna go get one and install it make sure you put your grommet in there and then put your aluminum uh whatever locking mechanism this is put your coupling on and both your clamps before you install your tube tighten them all the way down i went with a screwdriver and then went behind with an eight mil ratchet make sure it's not gonna go nowhere same over here all tightened down filter locks in before you do anything with the tube you use your factory hardware here factory hardware down there and other than that be careful with your temperature sensor and make sure you put your clamps on before your tube and other than that you got your closed box coder intake from afe you can see which one i went with gt momentum you got your afe throttle body spacer and we got our 180 degrees thermostat plugged in everything in is working fine uh hope this video was just a little bit uh helpful if you're doing any of these um installs but other than that guys hope you enjoyed the video hopefully it was helpful and i'm gonna go get me another temperature sensor and uh call it a day like subscribe and see y'all in the next video peace out